Hi guys, it's Jenny Belly. Today I'm going to show you how to make these raw paper flowers, which I think are quite fabuloso and can be used for any kind of projects. Um, I'll show you something at the end that I make with them, but you can use them in any kind of crafting, scrapbooking, anything like that. And um, what you will first need is paper. Now thinner papers are better, so you can turn this into a recycling project if you want. And uh, use something like newspaper, maybe just put a bit of colour on it with some acrylic. What I'm going to use is actually um, scrapbooking paper. You know the larger paper packs that you can buy, they're quite cheap. Well they always have kind of one or two um, patterns that I'm not much fussed about. So I'm going to try and use up my not so popular scrapbooking papers <laughs> in this project and then you'll need some glue I'm going to use a print stick and also, or a glue stick and also um, some Eileen's tacky glue and then a paper trimmer or scissors a bone folder or the edge of scissors again and a cocktail stick which is just going to help um, roll our flowers a little bit easier also gemstone studs or beads um, or other kinds of embellishments to create the centre of the flowers Okay, so what you do first is get your paper and your trimmer and you need to cut strips out that are going to make um, the petals and you need to cut all of them the same size. I'm doing one inch here and you need seven strips. Next what you need to do is grab your glue. I'm going to be using a prick stick here and so I just used some junk mail just to make sure that I go right up to the edges um, with the print stick without ruining my surface and I also just put a line of tacky glue down there just to reinforce it and then what you need to do if you've never rolled paper before is just fold it in half making sure that you match it up all the way and the glue actually on thinner paper makes it more malleable so that's um, why I don't score it before I do it because it's easier with the glue um, and then just do a bone folder to make a nice crisp edge and you need to do that with all of your seven strips then to roll them you just take a cocktail stick on one end just to help you roll it because this is the most difficult part you need it really really tight um, as I'm going to show you in a second it needs to be really rolled tightly as you can see there just slowed that down a little bit, that's why it's a little bit funny. <laughs> and now the easiest way I find to roll it is to use um, my middle finger and my thumb from both of my hands um, just to move the paper around in a circle. You might find an easier way for it, but that's how I find it really easy. And then what I do, about the last inch or so, is just stick it down with some wet glue um, roll it around and pinch it a little bit so it stays together and again you need to do that with all of your strips now once you've done all of them take one section and some gemstones or whatever you want to decorate the middle with and just begin, I'm using a cocktail stick there just to pick them up and just begin um, putting on, so you can put them on randomly, I tend to put them on in a nice pattern as you can see here and I'll show you some other ones, this one's small gemstones and small studs those are swarsy crystals and some small studs this one is a large swarsy crystal and large metal studs this one's crystal and some pearls and you can also even use some art glass that I've shown you how to make um, a few tutorials ago. So once you've got all your pieces together, grab your glue again and just put a line on the centre one and squish one of the other pieces of rolled paper to it. Grab some more glue and keep building up your flower and every single surface that is going to touch another surface put glue on it just to make your flower super sturdy and they do turn out really strong actually I have to say um, but you just want to make sure that um, every section is covered with glue I also find that I, on with all of the um, rolled pieces of paper I like how the petals go a certain way because each one is unique you'll find when you do them each one 
has got its own little shape and its own patterns to it. So figure out how you like your petals to go. And that's it, we're done. Here's some of the other ones that I've made. And the smaller ones on the right hand side are used with 6x6 paper. And the larger ones I have made with 12x12 paper. Aren't they pretty? And just a couple of extra project ideas. Here is a flower that I made out of waste paint paper that I did for a recent background tutorial on my blog and I really like how that flower turned out. Also, if you take a ring back and stick it to the back of the flower, they make really pretty rings and I'm going to be stocking a couple of them in my shop. They won't be something that I stock often and I won't put very many in, but if you want a ring with Sorosco crystals, head over to my Etsy shop. And that's it for the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all next time. Take care guys. Bye. Bye.